Hey, this is Lisa at Ecolocity, and today I want to show you how to use sheet filters in Smartsheet to help you distill your data into a way that is easier to look at without creating reports. This is helpful if you have a lot of data in a sheet. This sheet here is very simple. We don't have a lot, but we have enough to give us some filters to so you can see what that looks like. So this is a very basic sheet. We've got our project number, name, department it belongs to, the status of the project, percent complete, the health, priority, who it's assigned to, and estimated start date, actual start date, and a comments column. All right, so let's say that I want to see things that are critical and high priority. So this is your filter button, and I'm going to select a filter that I've already created, uh, high and critical priority, and I'll tell, show you what that looks like. So you click the little pencil here to edit it. And the criteria is that priority is one of critical or high. Okay, and this share filter checkbox is checked. And what that means is that other people who have access to the sheet can also use this filter. If this was a filter that I wanted to just keep to myself, I would uncheck that checkbox. Okay, so if we hit apply, we can see that it's filtered out everything that is not critical or high. Okay, let's say I want to see something that is less than 50% complete. So I've got a filter here. It's percent complete is less than 0.5. This, this column is formatted to show as percentages, but you actually have to put in the 0.5 for 50%. Um, and I've added the priority is one of critical and high. So I wanna see things that are less than half done and they're in that critical and high priority. So if I click that, there you can see 25%, zero and zero, and only in critical and high. If I were to edit that and say, I actually am not concerned about the priority right now, I'm gonna remove that criteria and click apply. Now it's showing me all the projects that are under 50% completed. Um, another thing that you can do is you can do it by status. So if I wanna say, for example, I wanna say that it is not complete. So I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to shut that filter off by checking it. And I'm going to create a new filter. I'm going to say not complete. We've got one in there that's similar, but I just want to show you how to start a new one. So I've named it. And status is one of, I'm going to say complete, but I'm going to say is not one of complete. And I'm going to click apply. So you can see here that everything here, they have filtered out the two complete projects. All right, one more thing that's super helpful, if I wanna see things that are just assigned to me, again, if they have a lot of data in here and I just I said, I wanna distill down to see the stuff that's assigned to me only, I can say, this is a filter called assigned to me. And what this, how this is set up is show the rows that match where assigned to is one of current user. So I could click my own name here, or I could click current user and share this filter. And what that means is that anybody who's looking at this sheet using this filter is only going to see what's assigned to them. So I'm gonna click apply and you can see I've got one line assigned to me. If I was somebody else, I would see different information. So this is one that's really helpful. It's a fun one to use and something that you only have to create the filter once and it's there for anybody to use it. I can filter out by department. I can say I only want to see sales and you get the gist, right? So filters can be super helpful for just kind of, kind of quickly um, changing the view of the data. If you want to get into something that's actually more useful on a dashboard, I would, I would recommend taking these filters and creating reports out of them. But this is how you access filters, and I hope this was helpful. Please do follow us on our website, ecolocity.com, and follow our YouTube channel. And sign up for our newsletter so you can get alerted on new events and webinars and blog posts and, and good stuff that we've got going on at Ecolocity. Thanks for watching.